First, let's look at controlling the reactor. When the reactor is operating, the power level is controlled by adjuster rods and by varying the water level in vertical cylinders. Sensitive detectors constantly monitor different aspects like temperature, pressure, and reactor power level. When needed, can-do reactors can safely and automatically shut down within seconds. Nuclear reactors in Canada have two independent, fast-acting, and equally effective shutdown systems. The first shutdown system is made up of rods that drop automatically and stop the nuclear reaction if something irregular is detected. The second system injects a liquid, or poison, inside the reactor to immediately stop the nuclear reaction. Both systems work without power or operator intervention. However, they can also be manually activated. These systems are regularly and safely tested. Once a can-do reactor is shut down, it will stay this way until restarted by the operators in the control room. There is absolutely no possibility of the reactor accidentally restarting on its own after it's shut down. The reactor must be manually restarted. Following shutdown, the amount of energy produced by the reactor decreases rapidly. The nuclear fuel will, however, continue to produce some heat and must be cooled. That heat, called decay heat, represents a small fraction of the heat produced during normal operation.